Once upon a time, there was a time before bees. But we would not have liked this world. It was a dark world without flowering plants competing to attract buzzing bees for pollination. A world without colorful fruits and berries. Even after solitary bees emerged, it took many millennia before bees became social and a colorful, sweet world, a place with nectar, emerged. Today, many of us believe that the world has been molded in the most radical ways by human activities. Yet our planet experienced far more fundamental changes in the early Cretaceous era, 145 to 113 million years ago, when flowering plants and their associated bees emerged for the first time. Plant-pollinator interactions were the central evolutionary innovation that changed the functioning of ecosystems and set the stage for a tremendous growth in plant and animal diversity. This step was also essential to the success of vertebrates eventually resulting in the evolution of humans. This collaboration between evolving flowering plants and early bee species is thought to have started in the relatively dry regions of Western Gondwana approximately 120 million years ago. The migration patterns of bees seems to have been slightly different between humans and the Western honeybee. Bees most likely did not originate in Africa, but rather in the Middle East. Today, it seems the evolutionary fates of humans and honeybees are now inextricably intertwined. Humans cannot survive without honeybees, and honeybees in the industrial world depend for their survival on humans. Honeybees are highly social and are one small branch of an evolutionary tree that has produced an astonishing variety of bee species with a wide range of social complexity from solitary to eusocial species. The evolutionary lines of the descent of wasps and bees suggest that some ancestral wasp species gradually transformed into a proto-bee by switching from a carnivorous diet to a strictly vegan one made up of nectar and pollen. But they continued providing their helpless brood with the food they had collected. This change in diet required important morphological changes, resulting in the development of specific pollen-collecting devices that are common to all bees. The oldest fossil social bee that has been discovered, a worker stingless bee species, Cryptogagona prisca, dates back to 60 million years ago. Sociality in bees is at least that old. Even though honeybees are common from a perspective of global abundance today, they're actually extremely rare from a perspective of species biodiversity. They represent the smallest genus of all genera in the large clade of bees, and they represent only 3% of all eusocial bee species. Understanding the evolutionary origin of honeybees has been key to a range of insights into their current state of existence and allows us to make educated predictions about their future survival, particularly in a world shaped by the impact of an increasing human population. Bees play a crucial role in nature and agriculture by pollinating plants that provide us with food. Their honey has been used medicinally by humans for thousands of years. Bees enjoy a social structure and society that is not unlike our own. Within the colony, there are those who are lazy, sloppy builders, stupid, thieves, assassins, jailers, and medical workers. As we study them in greater detail, we are constantly learning that what we thought we knew about them can always be questioned.